Spasiba. Okay. Let me get this. <laughs> Why are we some old ladies? <laughs> All this situating we doing. I'm going to just sit That's this good because you can't really mm -hmm. see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lighting Lino. looks Hold so creepy. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what we need. I love it in this season. My cousin, Jade, I'll let her actually introduce herself very briefly in like 20 seconds. Go ahead, Jade. I'm Jade. Um, I am uh, the curator of All Things Shenanigans. And that is an actual and factual statement mm -hmm. in real life. Um, I normally am a historian and I've been with Jade for a couple days and I don't know why I haven't documented more thoroughly the way that I have encounterized her in my life. <laughs> that you would introduce me to my life. To my life. To my life. We are here to talk. Jade and I actually are internet cousins. We are. And it's so amazing how that happened. Yes. Jade, Jade reached out to me in a very non-creepy way <laughs> and was basically like, we are related. Mm -hmm. What's going on mm -hmm. with the fact that we have not been at family reunions together yet. Mm -hmm. Very non-creepy ways. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this because sometimes it gets it gets weird. You guys can be a little creepy. It gets weird. I mean, I'm just a person. I put on my pants two legs at a time, just like you. Mm -hmm. If you punch me, you I will fight hands? you, <laughs> just like you. And I too want Michelle Obama arms, mm -hmm. just like you. So we just saying. Yep. So don't be creepy. Just be a regular person, and we possibly could be cousin time. Cousins for real in real life. Mm -hmm. Um. So, anyways, yep. then Jade and I began to encounterize one another on a deeper level as sisters in a similar journey. Mm -hmm. A journey of which I am not going to go into details and specifics in this particular Lily video. Not in this particular time. Not in this these times, in this season. Mm -hmm. But possibly before the end of the month since I gotta come up, since I gotta produce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's inappropriate. Since I gotta produce <laughs> a video every day this month. Mm -hmm. It might come up later. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so similar journeys and... Today we are here to talk about mystical, magical, magnificent things. Mayhem. I don't know why I did that shoulder roll, but Thank it's you. still appropriate. It feels very appropriate. You know churchy people can do alliteration. Girl, yes. <laughs> oh, honey. I'm going to stop there because I could get real petty and shady about particular Lily things. <laughs> but not today. It's fine. So there. So, um, so the other day I was writing an essay for a class. I was writing it on the day that it was due, which is interesting because I've known about it all summer. And I was writing a paper for a class and I started the paper with, um, haven't you always suspected that you were magic? That same day, mm -hmm. my cousin was in the same vein. The spirit realm. Huh? And, uh. Thank you, God. Oh, wait, I wasn't having fun. <laughs> almost spit this out i wasn't ready <laughs> she was in the same vein mm -hmm. and she said something on facebook that to which let me know that when i had gathered myself mm -hmm. and packaged my things mm -hmm. and got on a big bird in the sky and flew to where the shy hey. you see what i did there mm -hmm. that we should discuss this on camera yes so here we are mm -hmm. so um my brief introduction is that, like I said, haven't you always suspected that you are magic? I'm just having a conversation about the um, relationship between my spiritual journey and the justice work that I do. And I just realized that um, I've always just kind of felt like I am probably magic. Mm -hmm. um, not special. I ain't special. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think, I don't <laughs> think that I am special. Mm -hmm. I think that we all have a certain magic. And I think that we just don't tap into it when we were small children we did right. live in that magic and then life happened and then abracadabra right. all of a sudden we not magic no more so gone. you can abracadabra certainly... trick of the enemy wait 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 oh. my favorite thing about sipping this tea at the same time <laughs> is the fact that every single time we sip the tea jade leans in like she's not already <laughs> in the camera Come, this is ridiculous like, like, 
like that's the super level you gotta of, feel like of the... shady pettiness <laughs> you have to feel the like the timing of it yeah yeah the timing of the time you're petty that's very important the timing of the time that you're petty mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna write that down yeah. in my journal tonight so jade certainly i would love for you to just share your you know thoughts on the idea of magic cool so i wrote about this on jtperry.com which is my name because i'm not <laughs> i didn't want to think of a new blog name so my blog name is my name um and i was thinking about where are those places that i am contemplative where are those places that i am a little bit mystical um, and I was having a random conversation with a good friend of mine on just reflecting and kind of laughing, laughing and kikiing about the fact that my coworkers often think that I'm very mystical. Thank and you. I have. <laughs> the bruja is in my office. Um, so they always ask me for like chakra consultations. Because <laughs> she got to keep her mother speaking <laughs> chakras open where how open um not not very formally it's just like i'll say something when they'll be like i'm worried about this and i'll be like oh that sounds like you need to root, get your root your chakra root, balanced root. and through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that red anyhow just like the blood of jesus anyhow ah! <laughs> so i was just kind of reflecting on this fact that even me god even me I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> that reflective wrong. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, it was funny because I was like, yo, I really think that people receive me as this like mystical person. And I just be trying to heal and be great. Um, and she was like, yeah, that's actually you. So I started trying to trace back where did I get these mystical tendencies from and where did the magic show up in my life and where did the contemplative show up in my life as well. And I realized that even though I come from a very Christocentric background, uh, my family was churchy church. That's that's Christianity, just in case you didn't get that. Church, 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 we don't need no music church background. Um, they had some very magical tendencies um, and, and more so were involved in some really sophisticated grounding practices that I realized that I need in my life mm -hmm. at this point. I think there was a, a time in my life where I thought spirituality was all here and I needed to think the right thing. I needed to believe the right thing. And if I could just think hard enough about it, then it would click for me and I would be good. But I, I realized I needed to kind of feel some things and embody some things. Um, so my godmother taught me how to drink tea mindfully mm -hmm. um, every morning. Oh, I learned then how to drink it pedally, but she taught me how. Because <laughs> she said her website is jtperry.com, <laughs> but in real life, people call her Jade Petty. Yes. Bishop Petty. Bishop. And I've now been elevated to presiding prelate of Petty. God, thank you for the elevation. Anyhow... <laughs> Anyhow, I um, learned how to drink tea mindfully, and really that's about centering myself, thinking about what do I need that day? Do I need clarity? Do I need focus? Do I need healing? Do I need like relaxation? And then making a tea that can address some of those needs and really being present and drinking it and receiving all that it has to offer me um, and receiving all that I have to offer myself, the mm -hmm. wisdom that I have inside to offer myself. And my godmom taught me that she wasn't like, let me teach you how to drink this tea mm -hmm. mindfully, but she just <laughs> taught me um, how to do that. My grandmother was also very, she believed that there was just like another, you ever heard that expression like the veil was thin for them? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, she was uh -huh. one of those people, like she just yeah. operated. <laughs> It wasn't nothing for her to get into the smoky. Right. Like she the just fragrance. Lived. She lived with the fragrance. <laughs> she lived in Shekinah. Like wherever. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, lived. she Yeah, she really did abide there. So we and you know, it was a little spooky for me as a kid, right? Mm -hmm. Because she just was like, see, mm, mm She just had a real 
discernment phase and okay. discernment okay. spirit okay. Okay. that was just like I don't know what kind. So her of, unction was all always operating. It was just it was always like mm. yeah it was okay. always okay. queued up. Mm-hmm. So we would meet somebody and she was, she would just be like mm, it's something. <laughs> And and she probably usually was right. I was gonna say, but low key, she was right though. Mm-hmm. At first, I was like, Graham, like you don't even mm-hmm. can you not? Because mm-hmm. I'm embarrassed now. Mm-hmm. But low key, she was right. More on that maybe at another time. I'll have to figure out how to not be petty about those stories. But anyhow, um, she just taught me to really focus in on people's energies mm-hmm. and what they were giving me, and mm-hmm. really how to discern. If a person met me well, mm-hmm. she was very good with people's intentions, mm-hmm. um, and I don't think that comes from just anywhere randomly. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for her that came from time, and really she was a, the kind of person that was very spiritually keyed in. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think noticed that those these things. conversations are important because um, it, it's so it feels so simple even to just talk about like that little piece of whatever, mm-hmm. and we're already at thirteen minutes and. Y'all know that I'm not the queen of editing videos anymore. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to edit this video at all. <laughs> so, um, but just even that little piece, I feel like that's important because it feels so simple. It feels like such a small thing to say, like, I drink tea mindfully mm-hmm. or I am mindful of people's energy. Mm-hmm. But these lessons that we learned as children, the stuff that or unintentionally, like it was just subconsciously being... Um, given to us and filtering through our lives and we didn't but we have not practiced it intentionally and that's the part for me about the magic that I'm talking about Um, or the Holy Ghost if you will Mm -hmm. is that when we are mindful and intentional about allowing the spirit to operate through us in those ways that's when we get to show up as healers and use the laying on of hands and I have used the laying on of hands (laughs) I have. I have practiced. I have practiced that. So I have certifications mm-hmm. to show that I am certified in the laying on of hands, the treading on of serpents, the casting oh, out of demons. Uh, I don't get drunk when I drink wine. I got evidence of my Holy Ghost is what I'm trying to tell you. And it's actually in my edges too. Ah! Uh, excuse me. The Holy Ghost being your edges sometimes. Baby, and that's the reason why. <laughs> Some people. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, though, yeah. So the intentionality of being mindful about those practices. That's just a little snippet. Let me tell y'all something. I'm in Chicago. I'm actually leaving in a couple hours. So unfortunately, Jade and I did not get to really turn up the way that I wanted to in this YouTube situation ship that we are currently having. Mm-hmm. Um, and encounterize you to encounterize her a little bit deeper in this season mm-hmm. however i'm coming back to chicago mm-hmm. because jade is my cousin but i met other cousins while i was here mm-hmm. i met other cousins while i was here to the point that i'm mad that i didn't put them on youtube <laughs> while i was here one of my new cousins said the other day get out of my caucasian bible <laughs> and i will never be the same context he is not caucasian <laughs> Not at all Caucasian. Not even on so there's that. the verge of Caucasian. No. no. He no. is is very black. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. So thank you for watching these. It's 15 minutes. I might edit out about a minute of this. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching these 14, 15 minutes of this YouTube video. And thank you for allowing me to talk about things of the spirit with my cleavage out and still being able to receive me in the spirit of God in which that you are in countering me as well. And also for being able to receive Jade with her arms out because we was raised better than this to be talking about God with all this showing and distracting you because you are (laughs) causing you to be stumbling. You being Mm -mm. a stumbling block into your life, into your life as you have encounterized us. Mm -mm. And we didn't mean to do that. We just came to talk about being magical black girls, Mm -hmm. but for real. In this life. Thank you, Jade. No problem. I had such a good time.